Here are all the plastic printed parts that come with the Vision 3D printer series. Um, anyway, basically uh, all of the black parts that you see on here are actually made out of ABS and all of the gray parts or silver parts are actually made out of PLA. And so anyway, I just figured I'd give you a quick rundown of the parts that you'll get and how you'll see them uh, just so you're familiar with uh, what's going to actually be in each kit. First off, some of the extras that I put in uh, pretty much all the gray pieces were not originally going to be in the kits, but what I did was I put them in there in order to uh, make it so that uh, kit function a little bit better and uh, you have options already. So uh, one of the things is a cover, and you'll actually see this with the switch already in it and already wired um, so that you put it into um, the power supply. But basically this is a power supply switch cover, and so every Vision 3D printer will come with a power supply that is a 350 watt power supply and so basically this power supply comes but the part, of, part of the problem with it is that it has live line voltage on it so if you were to happen to touch this or a child would happen to actually touch this while it was live and plugged into the wall uh, if you didn't kill them then you would get a quite a shock and so basically this is a snap in uh, quick fit cover and you still get access to all your terminal blocks there um, and then uh, it'll have the switch already in there and it doesn't come off very easily once it's already snapped on there so that's one piece that you'll actually get one of the other extra pieces is a fan shroud um, I didn't find any on Thingiverse or anywhere else I wish I would have that worked really well but I wanted to be able to put a 40 millimeter fan uh, attached to the extruder if I wanted to and once it's attached to actually attached to the X carriage uh, that will actually, you know, pump air up into the extruder sometimes, especially for PLA uh, or if you're running higher heat material like uh, polycarbonate or a PCABS, then I wanted a fan shroud to actually help direct the air up into where the extruder will. And so there didn't happen to have uh, any that worked well, and so I decided I would put one into the kit. So I drew this up from scratch, and I'm posting it on Thingiverse, and basically it's a, just a small little PLA piece. I have four of these pieces will actually come already pre-assembled uh, because all of them are leaving with a pre-assembled extruder and so you'll get the gears, both of these two gears, um, the extruder body and then also um, this piece here which is the idle or tensioner um, for the extruder these will actually already be assembled so you don't need to worry about these it'll come as a pre-assembled extruder but what I also did was because I like PLA gears way way better than ABS gears uh, if you're not going to run super high heat you know material or uh, or if you don't want to actually run in a super hot environment then PLA gears work much, much better. So I'm actually including those. I would recommend starting out with these, and uh, they might last you several years before you even uh, think about them. And so then I have, this is the X carriage. It goes right and left on the machine as you're looking at it. Uh, it has the extruder mounts on top of this. And then with this, this is a little bit more complex than the standard X carriage. Uh, it comes with uh, four other super small little pieces and these four little pieces uh, basically have the room uh, to put what's called a tensioner into the belt that goes here so uh, after you use it for a while um, then belts tend to loosen up a little bit and so having a built-in tensioner that has a screw in it really really helps out quite a bit and so it takes a little bit more time to assemble it um, and it's, it's definitely four more extra pieces but um, with a tensioner built in, it saves you much, much more time in the long run and uh, works really, really well. I modified the uh, Prusa uh, Iteration 2 uh, end stop pieces because uh, A, they were too big, and then B, they never had the right size holes to fit most of the um, limit switches that I have. Uh, so what I did was I shrunk it quite a bit, and then I also put in an extra hole so that basically um, it's a um, 10 millimeter distance between the two holes so that when you put a limit switch to it that it works really good. So there's three pieces of modified. You get your Z motor mounts 
that go on the machine. They're way up high, and you'll see the motors on them. I actually run the motor mounts upside down. Most people run it where the motor actually fits in the pocket. I run it the other way, and the reason is because it takes up no extra space on the side um, of these, but what it does do is it gains you uh, about a half inch, you know, 13 millimeters worth of space, and uh, that's space that you can use for a little bit taller parts. I have stuck with, or I, I dumped the original Prusa uh, linear bearings um, because they, the, uh, the mount plates for those just didn't hold up too good. Uh, when you had actually, they were kind of a snap fit, but then you actually also had to put a uh, wire tie to them. And uh, uh, part of the problem was the way that they had them, where you actually had to snap fit the pieces in there, you would end up snapping off uh, one or two or three of these little pieces on there and it made it a little bit more shaky. So I didn't like that. I like these Joseph Cooling um, style uh, linear bearing holders because you slide the linear bearings in the sides here and then you get to tension it with an M3 screw and that works much much better um, just in my personal experience. So there's four of those in there. If you look then there are actually three of those on this style of X carriage that I've already shown you. And uh, same reason, it works better, plus it has the built-in tensioner. It's a much, much better deal. And I think this was, uh, uh, it's another piece that I pulled off of Thingiverse. Um, it's a modified version by uh, five or six different people. I have these two pieces really aren't needed, um, but what they do do is they, uh, uh, help protect the threaded rods that go up and down from you actually, you know, bending them or getting your hand in there or getting scraped up. So basically these will actually be mounted um, on the Z rod that goes up and I'll have the threaded rod will just go down through the hole and that kind of protects both of you and the machine. So uh, it's a pretty good deal. I have six bar clamps. The bar clamps are what allow the threaded rod to clamp onto the smooth rods. Um, and so basically there's six of those. Uh, original Prusa Iteration 2 takes eight of them. Uh, we don't need eight of them because the way that we design, redesign the machine. So anyway, six of those. These, uh, I didn't change these. Um, these are rod clamps. Uh, you'll see them on the Prusa side. And what they do is they bolt onto the Z motor mount. Normally they will bolt this way on there. The problem with uh, running it traditionally where you actually have the motors uh, sit in these pockets is that one is that it sits in the pocket and sometimes it's a little bit of a tight fit. Then the other problem is the screws that go through here you don't have any space left over at all uh, to be able to actually um, uh, have the screws longer. So there's really no space to be able to touch it or to be able to tension it in there without it already hitting the motors. So that's part of the reason I flip these over. Uh, it makes no extra Z height, but then I can run a longer screw up underneath there because it's not going to hit anything because it's so far off of the Z rod and it's, uh, um, it, it would have permitted the space anyway. This is a Prusa Iteration 2 um, Y axis motor uh, bracket, I think is what they call it. So. Uh, no changes there, um, just printed it pretty good. And then the last pieces, which I really, really like, um, I, I couldn't find any that were exactly what I wanted, so what I did was I took the uh, cooling uh, version um, on Thingiverse of the motor mounts, and once again, instead of having a snap fit, which are really hard to do, especially if you print them in PLA, um, these have the same kind of tensioner system where you slide the, uh, the linear um, bearings in there, and you can use either LM8UU bearings or LME8UU, which are the extra long, you know, one solid long one. Truth is, it doesn't matter either way. Uh, the uh, regular standard LM8UU bearings are cheaper considerably, so most people use those. We use them because it really doesn't matter, especially since everything's, you know, axial located on there. It just doesn't matter. So. Um, but one of the things that I did do, um, originally, if you look on Thingiverse, these are meant for a uh, M8 screw, lead screw, um, from the uh, uh, standard Prusa Iteration 2. And part of the problem with the 8mm lead screw 
is that you also have an eight millimeter smooth rod that goes next to it. And so they're kind of like fighting for control if it's kind of out and it's not axial located uh, so that it's concentric with the axis, then you get what's called Z-wobble. And so we'll actually try and shift these back and forth or this way or around with every revolution. So what I did, um, a lot of people talk about it, but I've never actually seen it on Thingiverse, is that I converted these. I took the open SCAD file that they had and uh, um, I found the variables that it took and I reduced it down so that it will actually fit a six millimeter lead screw with the six millimeter nuts. So the really great thing about these is that they have the open holes here and the open holes allow you to make longer rods or slight rod uh, adjustments and it's not so terribly hard to get them uh, dismantled to be able to reuse it. But uh, basically these are M6 lead screws with a uh, eight millimeter uh, smooth rod. So this is a motor mount. You attach your motor for the uh, x-axis belt right there. And this one here is the idler. So it'll go on the opposite side. And the idler will actually have uh, a doubled up um, uh, skate bearing so that you don't have to actually use the big huge fender washers there. And it just runs much, much smoother. Once again, these have the M6 screws already to it. and. Uh, they printed really nice, works out really good, very flat parts.